I'm beginning to feel like I'm on an episode of The Walking Dead. I'm just waiting for the zombies to appear. Hey you bitches, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip. As you may know, there is a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. And I do wanna say before I even start this video, I hope that everyone out there is being safe and smart because our health is the main concern. Hopefully this video maybe lightens and brightens up your day a little bit to help you get a little distracted from what's going on outside. Speaking of outside, that's a place where I cannot go right now because in in my area, I am supposed to be socially separated from the world. It's been fun. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a particular fast, and I figure I ain't got no food, and you don't need food for a fast, so this is the perfect time. <laughs> However, this particular fast is a dry fast, which means that you cannot eat, drink, or even have water touch yourself. You can't brush your teeth, you can't wash your hands, you can't take a shower. So I can be pretty stinky for probably a couple of days. Now most people try this for about 24 hours, but they do say you could do this up to three days. I think that is crazy, having no water for three days. I mean, I'm getting thirsty thinking about it right now. Now you might be thinking, Rob, why would you even be thinking of doing something like this? Well, there are a lot of benefits to doing a dry fast. It helps to reset your metabolism, it cleans out your gut, and even though during any type of fast your immune system gets lowered, after you're done, your immune system is supposed to be stronger than it was before. Now I do want to say right off the bat, I do not recommend anyone trying this, especially in these times where sickness is everywhere. However, I want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing this as responsibly as I can. I'm also not going to push this past my limits, and I don't know if I would even make it to three days. I mean, I shouldn't go in doubting myself, right? You'd be lucky if I make it through the first 24 hours, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see if I could do it. Now, I'm going to be starting this fast as soon as I go to sleep tonight. That will be my last time I eat or drink, which means that today I am going to just prepare myself by eating lightly, hydrating myself, and also making sure that I add some electrolytes like sodium to my water because I might be depleted for the next couple of days. On top of that, I need to weigh myself and measure myself physically just to see if there's any physical change. 140.4 pounds with a body fat percentage of 14.1%. As of now, I think I look pretty damn good. I just came off of my boxing every day for seven days challenge, and if you haven't seen that video, you can click above. So I don't really have a lot of anything to lose. I mean, there's always that, but you know, whatever. I'm measuring about 30 and a half inches. That's not even bad in itself. All right, so I am winding down pretty much for the night and I decided that it might be kind of good to maybe like soak in like a bath. So I made myself a bath since I'm not going to be able to touch water for the next 24 hours at least. Now just if you're wondering, I was able to get some groceries for today's meals and then also for the meals that are to follow this fast because there's a special type of meal that you can't just eat anything. I just can't go out and like have a cheeseburger or something, you know? It's like, it doesn't work like that. I'm also drinking a, a lot of water. I'm really hydrating. The bath helped me hydrate. So uh, I feel refreshed and um, in the best shape to be able to do this. Here we go. Uh. Good morning, it is day one of this fast. I went to bed around 12.30 last night and it's around, I don't know, like 9.30 now, so we're about nine hours in. I love that I slept through nine hours of this already. It's kind of cool. <laughs> now we gotta get up and live our lives. I do have to make my dog his breakfast and my dog gets his food specially prepared, which is wet stuff. So I decided, let me put some latex gloves on so that I protect my hands. Is it delicious? I just was about to put my contacts in and I realized I have to rinse and put in solution. There's water in this, right? So I have to wear my glasses all day. I don't know how I feel about that. No one told me I couldn't wear contacts. I don't want to wear glasses all day. They bother me. <sighs> We're already off to a bad start. 12 hours in. 
I'm doing okay. I'm just relaxing here on my couch. It's probably best to not do so much activity that's going to like make me thirsty or tired. I'm trying to just preserve as much energy as I can with my glasses on and gloves on. I look like I'm crazy. Thank God I can't go outside. All right, right now. 14 hours into my fast. So far, so good. I mean, I don't feel bad yet. I think if we continued this till tomorrow, I think that's when I'd start to be having an issue. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. I still have my gloves on. I'm just so scared that I'm gonna like turn on a faucet by accident. It's especially better when you're going to the bathroom and you can't wash your hands. You could just wash the gloves. It's nice and clean and then it doesn't touch your hands. I just woke up from a nap. Taking a nap is the easiest way to pass the time when you're doing any type of fast or cleanse. I can't really exercise, I can't eat, I can't drink anything. I can't even have alcohol. Which I have a lot of. <laughs> um, that'll be a celebratory thing after we're done with this. Yeah. All right, it's the middle of the day, we need to get up. <laughs> So I'm out letting my dog go to the bathroom. It's really nice outside actually. So I figure why not get a little bit of sun. The sun feels good. All right, so it is now the evening of our first 24 hours. I've done absolutely nothing all day. I'm feeling okay. I mean, am I a little thirsty? I could probably go for a drink. I think I could probably eat over drinking, which is very weird to say. I will admit that I have a little bit of a headache. I do wish that I could have drank a little bit of coffee today. <laughs> I can literally drink coffee and not eat or drink anything for the whole day and I'd be probably fine. But all in all, I'm okay. I'm gonna watch maybe a couple movies and then head to bed, hopefully. <laughs> Nothing crazy happens between now and then. If it does, you'll know about it. Good morning. It is now, what time is it? Almost 10 o'clock, so we're rounding into 34 hours, so we're well past 24, and I can't believe it. I'm a little dry, and I even dreamed about I drank a Sprite. I don't know why that was a craving for me, but I woke up thinking that I ruined this experiment. <laughs> I'm definitely starting to feel the effects of it. They're not fun. Okay, it's still the morning. I'm feeling okay so far, surprisingly, because I didn't think I would. I thought I'd be like literally on the floor, which could still happen. Just say, I was feeling a little bit nauseous last night and a little bit this morning. I think that's kind of normal. Your body is kind of going through a detox. That's what this whole thing is about. Like I'm giving my body time to rest from processing. And while I'm giving it that rest, it's able to just clean everything out. My sinuses are totally clear right now. Like I can, there's like nothing blocking. It does feel good to be able to breathe, that's for sure. I do think that I'm going to have to come to a point where I cease from talking because I can feel dry. No, I was thinking because my mouth is dry and I kind of want to promote some saliva, I thought maybe I could have some sugar-free gum, but it is five calories and it has two carbohydrates, so I don't think that I can even have sugar-free gum while I'm on this, which kind of sucks. My breath is just kicking, I can't even brush my teeth. I felt like maybe that would help a little bit, but now back to the drawing board. All right, so I'm getting bored and I need some social interaction. Hi, I'm on a drive fast. What's that mean? <laughs> it means no water, no food for three days. Whoa. <laughs> No liquids, no food. Okay, well, I won't. don't look at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tempting me with that. I passed 24 hours. Well, it's a good time to do it because no one's doing anything, but it's also kind of a bad time to do it because I just bought like five bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're wondering what I've been doing all day, not 
very much. I am starting to get really thirsty and I literally get up to just get myself a drink and forget that I can't have one. I am at that point where my brain is getting a little foggy, so that's when I know I just need to kind of chillax. You know, I'm hoping that this is worth it and doing it for a good purpose. Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.25 p.m. Um, it's hard to even put my thoughts together. Mm. This is now becoming a, a point where I feel it's a little torturous. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. I have to go to the bathroom first. Oh. All right, I'm back. Guys, I'm, I'm hitting a, a bit of a wall. I was doing good today, and now I am feeling crazy. I have explosive diarrhea all of a sudden. My body just feels very weak. I am extremely thirsty. <sighs> Sorry. I just feel like so bad right now. I'm just thinking I, I might need some water. I, I, I really can't believe it because I've, I've felt so good throughout the day and now I'm just feeling like nauseous and sick to my stomach. We are coming down to the end of the second day so I'm hoping at least I can make it a couple hours until 12.30. It, it doesn't look like too good for trying this a third day. I think I just need to have some water guys. All right guys, I'm got, I can't even talk. I'm about to drink my water. It's 10.30 right now. I really feel uh, really weak and a little short of breath. Um, I'm, I'm going downhill and I'm going down fast. Uh-huh. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it anymore. Oh, anymore. I'm having like this heat wave come over me. I'm like sweating. Oh my God. That was not easy. It is now 12.30 in the morning, exactly 48 hours since we started this whole fast and I didn't make it to three days. Sorry, not sorry. Your boy was able to get a shower, brush his teeth. I feel so much more normal again. That was really tough. Now, since I broke the fast with my water, I might as well just break the fast entirely and eat. But before I do that, I'm sure you all would like to know, did I lose anything? Well, I lost three pounds. Not too bad for two days. I started out at 140.4 pounds and ended 137.4 pounds. My body fat even went down 0.1%. That is like nothing, but it was something to show on the scale. Not only did I lose weight, my physical body looks quite different and I actually lost one inch in my waist. I started out at 30 and a half inches and ended 29 and a half inches. Now, is that permanent weight? No. My body doesn't have any food in its system, so once we start putting food back in, I may gain a little bit back, obviously. But the benefits that I'm going to receive from this kind of outweigh the weight loss. I was able to clear out my gut, a boost in my immune system, which I'm already starting to feel because my sinuses are clear. I can smell again. I can breathe. That's a really pretty big deal that I did not even think was going to happen. Now for some of the downfalls of this, being thirsty is really torturous. Towards the end, my body was going through some really weird things that I just couldn't control. And I was so thirsty that I just really couldn't take it anymore. I just felt like I had to do what I had to do for my own health. And 
I'm not mad at that because almost 48 hours of not drinking or eating, I'm so proud of myself. I didn't even think I would be able to go for 24 hours and to go for 48, well, almost 48, I'm okay with that. All right, now with that all said, I'm hungry, so I'm going to get my food, so I'll be right back. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Now to break my fast, I'm going to do it the way that I always break all of my fast, and that is some chicken broth. When you do come off of any type of fast, you wanna make sure that you are not eating super heavy at first. That could really upset your stomach, so you do wanna eat lightly. I don't know why I'm talking so much because I'm really hungry and this smells delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, I miss food so much. Sorry, I'm slurping so much. I know I have to end this video, but I just can't stop eating this. All right, put it down, Rob. Anyway, that's my whole video. I hope that you liked it. And if you did, make sure that you comment down below and let me know. And also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video goes live because you never know when the next one's gonna come out. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm gonna finish eating now. <laughs> Which means that you must abstain. Abstain. Abstain, not sustain. That you must <laughs> abstain. Abstain. That you must. Oh God. Come on, Rob. Get it together. Sorry. Maybe we should change that word. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me in these gloves. I feel like a magician. Um. That's like bad lighting. I'm not wearing any pants, so I'm gonna cut right here.